How's it going guys? Hope you all are doing great and welcome back on another episode on Roroni Kenshin. Without further ado, let's continue on where we left off and see what took place. Now, towards the ending of the previous episode, this man literally hurt his subordinate deeply so deep that this boy can no longer practice being a swordsmanship ever again his dreams has been shattered his dreams has been shattered this is so bad Not fair. And I can just imagine how Yahiko feels about all of this. Even though they didn't get along, but that was just a bad, 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 bad situation to be dealing with. You know? Now, Kenshin did tell the man to wait for him, that since he wants to fight, that he will face him, he will challenge him, that he will see him battle him since he wants to fight. So, we are going to see how this fight is going to go down. Settling the score. Oh, he's going to bring him to go watch. Oh, this is going to happen. Zanza told him, you have touched Imura's emotion. You have touched his secret emotion. You shouldn't have hurt that boy. is very confident that he can beat Kenshin. Why do I feel like he's gonna try to engage Zanza? Here we go.
So, Keshen has figured this man out. Oh, now he's doing it rapidly. That move is deadly, man. If that gets... If that gets... Ooh! <laughs> so he's actually using that ability to keep Kenshin at bay. It's weakened. He's never killed a man? He has not killed a man before. He almost killed Yutaru though. Hmm. Oh man. It looks like Kenshin has actually angered him. He, this man, Raijuta, is thus far keeping Kenshin at bay. Against the rope, basically. Show, buddy? So, that all. Shine? Mm. Kenshin took it head on. Sweet! Sweet! Right back at it again. <laughs> oh, man! That was quick. He knocked him out. Right in the temple, man. That literally knocked him out flat. That was quick. But he took that attack head on. He took that attack right you there and delivered. If he was killing, Kenshin would have killed him long ago. What now? Yeah, he go. Hmm? <laughs>
He's never killed a soul before. Man, I would have thought that this man kills people. Like, he's actually not a bad guy. He's he's really not a bad guy, really. It's just that he wants, you know. He's really not a bad guy. But he's selfish, egotistical, and everything else, but he's not a killer. Oh, Yuta is also saying goodbye to him. Wow, not only has his pride been shattered, his ego has been shattered and his name, Dashinko style, has also been shattered as well. Man, will we, will we ever see Utah use his arm again to carry his sword? Ever again? He's gonna move to Germany. Will Utah ever, ever forget about swordsmanship? Will he ever forget swordsmanship? I would have loved to see uh, Yahiko and Yuta grow, grow up together and fight together and everything. It's gonna be hard, like moving from one place to a new place, you know? Learning foreign language, how to uh, make friends and a whole new life. It's not going to be easy, but
what choice does the boy have at this point, right? He blocked it. The boy still has his reflexes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's more like it. That's that's the spirit. You twisted weirdo. <laughs> Love it. You twisted you twisted weirdo. <laughs> Since when did you did you uh Yahiko become twisted and weirdo? He's actually he's this you taru, he's actually a dynamite, he's actually a prodigy. Seriously, if he practices and hones his skill, he will be as good as Kenshin, actually, because you could literally see that he has that potential to be great. When I come back, the first thing I would do is defeat him. Soy! That is more like it, ladies and gentlemen. I love that. I love that. Let the um, rival continue between them. Indeed. Indeed. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, what an excellent episode this was. Let me see if there's any. Oh, man, there's more. There's more. It looks like Yuji Tai is not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. He is still licking his wounds. Let's see what resolve he will seek after this i'm gonna kill i don't care who don't tell me he's gonna go kill this Ooh. Oh, please don't. He cut off the head of the statue. 
I guess that's bad. That's uh, uh that's okay. I, I I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. At least take it on the statue and don't take it on the human life. You know. Everyone gets their moment of, of questioning. Everyone gets their own moment of, um, how do I put it? You know, get their own moment of, of, of breakthrough. It's either whatever you're going through destroys you or you over, or you overcome it. Everybody gets their own time or their own moment of 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 questioning, of, of doubts, of, of of trials and tribulations. You know, everybody gets their own of of an eye opening, right? So I guess this is a moment for Rai Juta, a moment of an eye opening for him to really look and kind of reassess himself. And his beliefs and his resolve and reassess and come to a conclusion on how he's going to move forward from here on out. Because seeing as to the fact that his plans did not work, not only did his plan didn't work, his, uh, let me say his ego has been shattered, his dreams has been shattered. He has lost his subordinate and losing the contact he had with you, Taro's father. He can no longer build his school. But I think if he can turn building his school, he can still do it. He can still build his school, right? He can still find a way to get it done. This time, he's going to have to do it the right way and do it the honest way. Because he tricked you, Taro's father, uh, thinking that, you know, he's going to train his, his son, which he never did. And in the heart of you, Taro, he burns the yearn and yearns to study, so, uh, to, be a, uh, to study uh, martial art or to be a, swordman a swordmanship, right? You, Taro's heart yearns for it. And he is such a prodigy, you, Taro. If that boy kept training with Yahiko, Yahiko will be his second, not his first. Because as we saw, even though Yutaro's one arm has been injured, when Yahiko lashed towards him and launched towards him with his kendo stick, and he said that Yahiko actually came at him with full force, right? If he hadn't blocked it, he would have knocked him till next week. This boy blocked it using one arm and he was quick. His reflexes, even though he's injured, his reflexes is so good. I'm not sure if these two will ever meet again because Yutaro said, when I get better, when I come back, you and I have a score to settle, right? So I'm not sure how far they're going to go with this idea. I'm not sure if Yutaro is going to come back ever. But um, as it stands, this squabble with uh, Rai Juta has been has come to an end. I'm not sure if we're if we are ever gonna see Rai Juta again or any other candidate uh, Kenshin has faced and overcame uh, in the past. I'm not sure. So thank you guys for joining me. Feel free to push your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Is it a good idea for Yutaro Yutaro to leave? I would have preferred him staying and train with Kenshin Zanza. Uh, alongside with uh, Yahiko, both of them could actually balance each other. Both of them can be uh, each other's uh, 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 lookout and look out for each other and, and just be there for each other, I think, and be friends, like right? grow together. Like, you know what I mean? I think that would have been better, but I feel like him being around, uh, Yahiko will only be his second and not his first. If Yutaro didn't go, the focus will definitely be on Yutaro and not Yahiko, right?
upon Yutaro leaving, the focus will go back to Yahiko being the child of the group. Uh, that's just my take on it. But what do you guys think? I think them training together, getting stronger together, I think it's better. But I'm, I feel like if they go that route, then the story goes off of Kenshin and goes towards the kids growing, training together, going through trials and tribulation, you know? It's just a weird mixture of feelings that I'm getting from this episode. But let me know what y'all think. On that note, stay safe, keep on keeping on, and see you guys in the next video.